When he retired in 1978, Eddie Merckx had created a palmares like no other. The Belgian great claimed 11 grand tours, all five monuments, four rainbow jerseys, and a staggering 525 wins in all. But four decades have passed since then, so how does the great man view today's racing in comparison to his heyday? Yes, these are young riders who have a great temperament and who have a lot of strength. who have a great temperament and who have a lot of strength. I think cycling today is so well organized and well followed in terms of diet, training, coaching. I think it's very important. Unfortunately, all of this didn't exist in our time. After a fall, I think there are more possibilities to come back to the fall today than in my time. I remember when I fell, it took me a few years and I wasn't the same after that. His endorsement of Tadej Pogacar as a true great is now well known. But which other riders in the pro peloton does he feel deserve attention in 2022? There are some really great sprinters, as there are great climbers and great rulers. When you take Ganna, he's a really great ruler and a good future record holder of the hour. So I think in every generation there are some super champions. When you see Von Aert, he won Kent Wevelgem, he won the Amstel, then the stage on the Ventoux. It's really exceptional for a non-climber. So he's a super champion. Van der Poel had some bad luck with the crash, Poel had some bad luck with the crash, and he wasn't so good in Paris Roubaix. But that's a race that he must be able to win. He's already won the Tour of Flanders by beating Fanart, and I think both are winners. I admire the character of Yves Nepal, who was first and foremost a rider of great class and exceptional strength. His problem is that he started, he didn't go through the categories, and I think he's missing something in his preparation to be a pro. And I hope that in the next few years he'll make up for that delay and that problem to demonstrate he's a super champion. For me, he's a great champion who wins in the mountains at the Tour de France. The way he wore the yellow jersey in those two world championships he's won. This year in Belgium, he was also really impressive because he was in front of all the Belgians. To demonstrate that, we can take our hat off and congratulate him fully. Chapeau also to one Mark Cavendish, who for years had looked like he'd fall short of Merckx's record of 34 Tour de France stage wins, lying four in arrears. A surprise return to his best saw the Manxman draw level this year, but stay agonizingly close to stealing a record Merckx probably never imagined losing. But did Cavendish earn himself a greatest of all time epithet of his own? Well, I I wouldn't say the greatest sprinter, no. He's a really great sprinter, though, that's true. You know that there were so many great sprinters who won a lot of the stages of the Giro as well. At the moment, there's Caleb Ewan, who is a very great sprinter. So it's hard to say, but in the Tour de France, he's absolutely the best. He's a very, very charming boy. Besides, I have no problem in beating my record because I remember when he came to do the criterium in Wolverton, he came to change at my place. He's kind, he's so tidy, everything. I have a lot, a lot of affection for Mark Cavendish.